Welcome back. It's turn four. I forget who had initiative. We're going to re-roll the blue die. Uh, they both roll one. Who had initiative last turn? I think the Americans did. And if they didn't, they do now. So, let's do this. Americans have initiative. That's actually a good thing because they will get to shoot first. And they are going to shoot at this unit right here with the MG. I'm uh, going to get 2 plus 2, firepower of 2, plus 2 for being adjacent, and plus 2 for being good guys. No, it's just 2 plus 2, so strength of 4. And we roll the 3, and these guys roll a 5. What is that terrain there, and will we get anything benefit from that? It's a cemetery, by the looks of it. And let's see if there's a terrain chart in the back here. I think there is somewhere. He said scrambling. Maybe these are the rules. Here's the demo. Blah, 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 blah. Cemetery. Plus two target modifier. Okay, so it's going to add two to these guys. Seven. And uh, three plus four is seven. No effect. Well, that is just going to suck donkeys, you know what, for those guys. Because now it's the these guys' activation, and they're going to fire with their MG of a three. Plus a one is four. And this guy, five. Versus a uh, four uh, defensive modifier, so it's it's uh, five plus two for being adjacent, so seven versus uh, basically four and uh, seven versus four, ten versus five. That's a plus five check, plus five check. It's a plus four check because I have a morale of six here. Can you guys see that? Hope you can. Maybe not. So, I said a plus four check, right? So there's only one unit, we roll one die. He rolls four, plus four is eight. He is shaken. <clears throat> the reason why he's shaken is because he has a six. He rolled a net of eight. If he had a rolled a net of 12, he would have uh, been reduced. So he is now shaken. These guys are now fired. And it is... Uh, now the Americans turn. Now the Americans realize that they're in a really uh, tricky situation here. They're probably going to lose that unit because this chap will move into here and Malay and he will be eliminated automatically. But it's a six turn scenario and all we've got to do, I believe, is uh, uh, control uh, one or some of these buildings within three hexes of this hex here. So as a cautious defender, I am going to sit back and let the Germans come to me and sacrifice that team. I am not going to try and spot this guy and shoot at him. I'm waiting with my big MG here to uh, let these guys try and cross the road and come to me. So I'm going to pass now. Or actually what I could do, well, I could take my chances. I could not pass and I could retreat one to there. Well, actually, I can't retreat because he's shaken and he cannot move closer to an enemy unit. So this guy actually cannot even move. So we will pass. German turn. German moves one unit and he goes to there. That becomes a Malay hex. This guy's automatically eliminated because he's shaken. Boom. Thanks for playing. No further action can be taken in that hex this turn other than other units moving into it to reinforce it. Got it? Good. Now... There is one shot I could have taken, and that is to shoot at this stack of guys here. And that actually might not be a bad idea. So these guys will do that with a strength of two plus one for the bar, and then half of the hero is three. Sorry, his three is four. So we're gonna fight with a strength of four over to here. Uh, the leader, what do we do with the leader? Okay, so what this leader will actually be able to do is add two because he, he gets to add his leadership modifier, right? So it's two, plus one for the hero is three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got six factors popping at these shaking guys. So here we go, and they're in the open. Six factors, where it's eight versus five. It's plus three check. We're going to do the leader first. Leader rolls an eight. So now he moves to wounded and shaken. And this guy is shaking, he's doing, uh, I said, uh, what did I say, plus four? Did I say plus four? 
Shoot. What, kitty? You want to go outside? Everyone pause. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't believe I can't remember what I just said. I may, may be getting dementia. No! <laughs> I think it was plus four. One plus four is five, it's equal. I think he's gonna be okay, so we're gonna leave it like that. Feeling a bit sorry for the Germans at the moment. All right, let's see. So now we put a five mark on that dude. This guy is wounded, he's in all sorts of strife. He will activate these guys and move out of the line of fire behind this fence here. In fact, how many squads? We've got two squads there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to activate this hex. The leader's going to move to here. This guy's going to move to here. And we're just going to call that even. And they're moved. He's moved. And he's going to low crawl just for the hell of it. He probably can't low crawl because he's... Where are the fire markers? Here we go. All right. Okay. They did their action. They did their action. They're passing again. These guys will try and spot this hex. So they've got to roll a one or a two, basically. They roll a six, no luck. They are ops complete. Now I've got this squad here. These guys will pass again. I've got this squad here. They're going to go two to here. Four, 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 four. yes, I can move into the Malay hex with. Uh, let me see one thing. Yeah, so I want to two, three, I can put three squads in here. So they're all going to be on the Malay hex. And because they're under the Malay hex, they cannot be. Uh, counter they cannot be fired at so that's three squads and an MG here. They went two four to there That is just awesome. Okay, that's their turn. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything else We're done and the beginning of turn five Let's see take all these off turn five and we're gonna roll for an initiative I'm really pissed about that leader getting wounded um Initiative. Americans have it again. Five versus four. I'm going to roll to recover uh, the shakenness of this leader. He rolls a five, so he's going to be good. That's a good thing, but he is wounded. <clears throat> and he's stacked with the wrong guys. Not much we can do there. Because we ideally like him to be with units that can, that can close assault. And I, I guess he's got one there. But this uh, MG, and now part of this turn, I'm going to flip this MG to be carry into carry mode. And these guys are all good. These guys are good. This is deployed. We're good to go. Americans go first. Americans pass. The guy, these guys low crawl to here. This guy can move to here, he can move closer to uh, these Americans because he doesn't have a lot of sight to them. So he's just gonna move uh, to there. And so he is moved. And these chappies will once again pass because they're waiting for the, the, uh, the attack. And you know what, I need to check the smoke deployment rules for uh, Second World War era because I don't know what they are. So I believe they changed once upon a time because Jeff Newell complained like a big crybaby that it was too hard to do. Didn't you, Jeff? Jeffrey, old boy. He smoked. Here we go, land smoke. Uh, select the hectorality six. Equal to a less than the unit smoke lane capability. Great. It's really handy. Uh, smoke lane capability. This is the demo, so let's see if they roll they they lay smoke in this game. I don't think they do. Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second. 
You know what, because I'm an impatient, impatient jackass, we're just gonna say you need to roll a one or a two to throw smoke, so that's what we'll do. Um, turn five, huh? What do I need to do to actually win here as the Germans? What's their goal again? Is it all of the buildings or four of the buildings? Victory conditions, scenario length, victory conditions, victory conditions, here we go. Uh, four buildings within three hexes of uh, this thing. Three hexes. So we've got within three hexes. Well, I've got three of them. I need to get one more. I'm going to get one of these. So we've got to get one of these. So we're going to have to cross the street, which means we're going to possibly need an, a turn to make an extra turn to make that happen. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, try and lay smoke and I am going to try and lay smoke. Hmm, I'm going to activate these guys, this whole hex. This chap's going to try and lay smoke. He's going to roll a one or two. He fails, so he's off complete. And this is where I'm delving into the Kev makes the rules up scenario, and I'm sorry for doing that because this is supposed to be a demo, but I really want to get this cranking, and I'll uh, tell you in another video why I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, so I activated this hex. Oh, do we do we roll for initiative? Yes, we did. That's okay. They passed, and um, you can tell I'm very distracted. I've had that minor. Uh, well, potentially major problem occur at the house. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try and spot this hex here, since we failed, and we failed to do that as well, so everyone is always complete. Boom, boom, boom. These guys will pass again. Uh, now we've kind of screwed this up, because there is no way can do this without getting shot at. All right, I'm gonna try and spot this hex again. It rolls a one, spots. Okay, so uh, everyone can fire. We're gonna fire with a strength of three. Actually, if a strength of uh, three, four, five, a strength of five. That's probably what I did wrong last time too, I think. Not doing a good job for you guys. Five and five. So ten for those guys. I should be writing this down. Ten, they're in the building. That's a plus gonna be so that's a six plus three is nine. That building's three, I believe. Uh, so it's gonna be a nine versus a ten. So it's one greater, so it's a plus one check. We're doing a plus one check on everybody. Let's start with the leader, plus one. Six plus one is seven. He shakes. Six plus, uh, five plus one is six, he's okay. All right, these suckers fire, boom. These guys turn. What we're gonna do, just to be cautious here, is low crawl into there. Since pretty much everyone's done everything, I think we're okay. And I am also going to do this. I'm gonna move my hero Oh, we know what, that would be really interesting. Can I do that? Be a, do a preemptive attack on them. Ops complete can still opportunity fire though, so we can't go that way and they, we can't get to there. I think we're gonna move our leader, our hero to here because he's gonna add some value if that hex is assaulted and there's no leader. Uh, if that leader doesn't recover. So we're hedging our bets there. Now, that does make this hex a lot stronger than this hex, but I think it's gonna be harder for these guys to get across here. Uh, we'll see. All right, end of turn five, beginning of turn six. We're now going into the, stre the home stretch, and I hate to do this to you, but I am gonna call it quits here, and what we'll do is roll for initiative. See who goes, when I want to say call it quits, call it quits for the time being. Americans have it, initiative. So, let's do, re do recovery. So we're gonna try and recover this guy and then we'll be ready to kick off. Uh, he's gonna roll under a six. That was a cocked one, we'll roll it again, eight. Even with the building, actually the building's gonna give him a, a bonus, a recovery bonus. 
what do they call it, a, um, a benefit basically for being in the building when you're trying to recover from being shaken. I think it's a, I think it's a minus one or a minus two. I wonder if that's the, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, it's two from a building. So that would bring uh, that eight down to a six. It's equal to or greater than, so he is in good shape there. Okay. These guys cannot recover. Can't recover your wound. So now we're ready to start turn six. It's the American's advantage. We're gonna put this die here to let us know when we come back that we will continue play with the Americans with the first act activation. Talk to you soon.